All right, so starting off first, this is an error coin. It is a 1990 Lincoln penny that has been double struck and broad struck. So it's got a double strike and it's been broad struck. All right, so we can see that there in the images displayed. Now this is the type of stuff that I feel like you can really look for in your pocket change that people necessarily really don't pay attention to, especially, you know, the non-coin collectors out there, people that are just, you know, putting change on the counter and not really looking through it. Now this coin here sold for over $150 because of that error and because of the grade that PCGS graded this coin at a Met State 64. So the grade always has a factor in the coin's value as well. Next up is the 1990S Proof. Now we're gonna get into this here in a second because this is very important. Like I said, this is a 1990S Proof that has been double struck and it has an obverse rotation to it. So we can see here underneath Liberty, you can see that a little bit. And then there on the date, you see the date and the S mint mark coming down there underneath it to the right. So you can really see that obverse rotation there. Now this coin here sold for over $500 because of that error and because of the high grade of a Proof 67. By the way, if you're not too familiar with coin grading, I pretty much say it in a lot of my videos. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This is at a 67. So that means that it is in excellent condition. So just type in Couch Collectibles coin grading on YouTube and you'll find a few of those videos. All right, next up, let's get the high grades out of the way. This coin here is the 1990D Lincoln Penny. It's graded at a Mint State 68, doesn't have any types of errors. It's just in excellent condition, and that's why this coin sold for over $115. Now, if we look at the 1990 No Mint Mark, this is graded at Immense State 68 as well. And this penny here sold for over $745 because of the high grade. Let's look at this coin here before we get to the coin that I really, really want to look at. This is the difference between a business strike and a proof coin. So if we look here on the left side of the screen, this image by PCGS, by the way, you can go check them out at PCGS.com. It is not sponsored, but if you would like to go check them out and get your coins graded, feel free to do so. They're a great company. So the 1990 on the left is the coin that is made for circulation. So it's a coin essentially that you will find every day in your pocket change. Now the proof coin over to the right, they only made so many of those and they are supposed to have an S mint mark. The one on the left is not supposed to have an S. It's the 1990 No Mint Mark Philadelphia Minted Lincoln Penny. Here on the right side, the proof one, it is supposed to have an S on the 1990 Proof Penny. So that S stands for San Francisco Mint. The other one on the left is Philadelphia Mint. So here's another image of that. We can see the circle here underneath the date. These are both the proof pennies from 1990. On the left, we have the S mint mark like it's supposed to be. On the right, it is missing the S mint mark. So if you find one that is missing the S mint mark on the proof penny from 1990, you will definitely be able to sell it. Now you wanna look for these in proof sets just like this. Check your 1990 proof sets. If you find any at the flea market or a yard sale or whatever it is, if you find a 1990, look for that missing S mint mark on that penny. So here is that 1990 no S proof penny. Now this is graded at a proof 69, so it does have an extremely high grade. So if you have this penny that has the no S, it's missing the S. However, your coin is like really damaged. It's not going to sell for as much, but still it would sell for some money because it's missing the S mint mark. Now this penny here sold for over $19,000. $19,000 because of the high grade and because it is missing that S mint mark. Now, next up, this is the penny that I've been waiting to talk about here. Now, you usually hear about this on the 1982 pennies. However, this one is very cool. This is a 1990D Lincoln penny that was struck on a copper planchet. So if you guys are not familiar with what pennies are made out of, please go check out my 1982 penny videos. I got like three of them explaining the difference between the weight of the coins from 1982 to present and 1982 prior. So there was copper pennies and then it transitioned into zinc. So this penny was supposed to be struck on a zinc 
planchet. However, this was struck on an older planchet prior to 1983. So that is what gives it a lot of value. Now this penny here sold for over $5,600 because of that error. So always weigh your pennies. You can get a coin scale on couchcollectibles.com. Link is always in the description or in the comments below. Man, I really love that penny. Glad I got to share that one with you guys. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.